Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing week. To create today's video, I was inspired by photos of this unique stool. This piece of furniture absolutely stole my heart and I knew from the first sign I will have to DIY it. There is few different shapes, colors and design of this stool, so I thought I'm gonna put my own touch and recreate it. So this will be a mix of thrift clip and IKEA hug video as I will be using my thrifty stool as a base and IKEA products to create a plaited cushion. So without any further ado, let's get right into this project. As I said before, the stool I'm going to work on is thrifted. I bought it for only two pounds. It's nice, solid, thick wood with the red leather on the top. Overall, I like the shape of this stool, but you can tell it went through a lot in its life, so it's a good opportunity to refresh his look. I start with measuring its top. This project can be done on any size of stool. You can also recreate it on the round shape. So my top measures 31 times 31 centimeters. I take piece of paper and draw the square shape to design the pattern I'm going to use and to calculate how much of the fabric I will need. First, I divide the square into seven equal long sections. This number is irrelevant and only show how many fabric tubes will go from one edge of the stool. I divide 31 centimeters by seven which gives me that each pipe has to be about 4.4 cm thick. To create the cushion top for my stool, I will be using fleece blanket from IKEA. It was super affordable and available in a few different colors. You can use any kind of color or fabric you like. This step is very personalized. And to fill my fabric pipes and give them a more cushiony look, I will be using filling from IKEA pillow. Now it's time to cut out the right size of fabric to create the pipes. I place my blanket flat and using measuring tape and tailor's chalk I mark where I have to cut it. As I calculated before I want the pipe to be at least 4.5 centimeters wide so I double it and add few more centimeters for the sewing part which comes to 11 centimeters. I mark the 11 centimeters away from the edge in a few places and then connect them all with straight line. My stool top is 31 cm wide, but that's only from one edge to another. I need few extra centimeters of fabric for the sides and to be able to wrap it around the top. So to be on the safe side, I make each pipe 50 cm long. I go to my stool and double check if that's enough of the fabric to cover the whole length of the stool. Now it's time to create the pipe out of the rectangle shape of fabric. I will be using thread and needle, but there are a few other options you can use. I fold the fabric in half of its length and then using simple stitch, I connect two edges together. I basically loop the thread around the fabric. I try to do it nicely and in the same distance. This process is quite time consuming knowing that I have a 14 of these pipes to sew. Other option will be to use sewing machine. If you know how to operate it, I believe this will be very easy step to do. And another option I can think of is to use hot glue. Just glue two parts together, putting the glue as close to the edge as you can. The decision is yours which option you are going to choose. Take one end of your pipe and start turning inside out. You want the stitches to be inside of the pipe.
Now it's time to fill the pipes. I cut my cushion cover and take its filling out. I take small parts of the wool at the time and pushing it inside the fabric. You can help yourself by using some tool to push the wool in. Taking small parts at the time helps to spread it evenly throughout the whole length. I double check if it's the right shape, size and length and then create another 13 of them. Let's now take care of the wooden part of my stool. I've got with me a sander and sanding paper to go on it in different grades 60, 80 and 120. I will probably use 60 at first to remove the old paint and varnish and then I move to 80 to not hurt the wood too much. I've also got a few other pieces of sanding paper for the places where it will be hard to reach them with the sander. Because the legs are curved, I have to be very careful sanding them down to not lose the round shape. I put sander on lower speed and do it gently and slowly. And as I said before, for the harder places to reach, I'm using the sheet of sanding paper. So that's how it looks after sanding. I've left the edges of the top as these will be covered with the fabric anyway. And to protect the raw wood, I will be using light wax. I should really use the clear one as I like the color of the wood right now, but I didn't have any so I've used this instead. It won't change the color drastically of this wood, it will only add more of the yellowish tone to it. And to apply it, I will be using cloth and wire wool. And once everything is waxed, I take clean cloth and polish it slightly and remove any excess wax. Let's go back inside. I place the rest of my fabric flat on the floor and then place the stool on it upside down. I want to cover the red fabric and the edges of the stool before I start placing my pipes on it. Again, I make it slightly bigger to be able to wrap it around. To attach all the fabric to my stool, I will be using this staple gun with the flat staples. I wrap the fabric around the top edge and attach it to the wooden frame. I also wrap it around the legs for nicer finish. And I cut off the excess fabric. I've placed seven of my pipes next to the stool. I make sure the stitching part is facing the floor. I spread them evenly by the length of the edge and I start attaching them to the wood one by one. It looks like I'm struggling, but it was actually quite easy and enjoyable process.
With my other seven pipes, I'm attaching them the same way to the adjacent edge. Now let's create the woven pattern. I pull all seven pipes from one side over the top to another side. Then I take one pipe from the other end and go alternately above and under over the other pipes. I'm reaching the other end and staple it. Because it was quite hard to control all these pipes, I've left only seven loose pipes, which I was pulling through the ones which are already attached to the stool. And this way I've created beautiful and unique stool. It's actually very comfortable so you can easily use it for sitting or make it as a footrest or just as a stylish decoration for your home. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this tool? I'm happy how it turned out and I also really enjoy creating it. It's nice to see when old piece of furniture received new life. And if you enjoyed this video and this project, make sure to give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY projects. And for now, thank you so much for watching, your support, and I will see you in my next video.